Hello everyone, this is a uh, quick tutorial on how to remove tracking dots from the live plate so that we can, uh, so that they don't show in the final renders because it's a big giveaway that we, uh, that something is CG because we'd have to have a camera track. Um, this is what it looks like originally and we're going to basically mask all them out by, uh, by rotoscoping and tracking. So all it is is that we just take a rotoscope, a little sphere, over the original, uh, over the dot that we want. And like in Photoshop, we can clone and shift the, uh, the color. So we can get a color, it will match this pattern and overlay that on top of here. And to animate the rotoscope along the timeline, we will do a tracker node and then link the tr roto to the tracker. So uh, it's super, pretty simple. Just gonna look at this, get rid of all this. And we're gonna start with the rotoscope. So, Let's do a roto, plug it in. And it's important that we plug it in because normally when we just do alphas, there's no need to plug it in because we're not using the background at all. But in this case, we're going to be copying and overlaying the background color. So we do need this plugged in. So let's view this. And if we look here, first thing we need to do is say we're going to output an RGBA and just do a quick ellipsy roto over your dot. And we see that it turns immediately white. And that's because we have the source to a color, which looks for this. So if we're to do this, we can get green, whatever. Um, but what actually what color we want is this background color. So no big change happened, but that's because we come over here to the clone. And if we were to move this, let's say 15 units to the side, we start shifting the, the, uh, the image to the side a little bit. So if we were to do 20, 25, something like that, completely gone. But if we were to move this around, we can see that the roto is staying in place. It's not moving. So in order to do that, all we need to do is just come over and make a tracker node. Come on. Come on. All right. We're going to view the tracker, add track, and just put a track right on here. Uh, most people this uh, probably already have a track scene. If this is probably the last step, so you'd have a track scene already. You can import uh, your tracks into here and uh, just roto the, the link. You can link the roto to the track, and I'll show that in a second. But for right now, we're just going to track this. So if you go to tracker and press play, it's going to start tracking. And uh, we'll be back in this once this is done. So we got our track here. If we play through, we can see track follows just fine. So all we have to do now is just click on our roto, highlight it all, and go to link to, right click link to, the tracker that we just tracked, and we say translate as offset. You, you, can, you know it's linked when the, uh, these little dots turn from white to red. You see, translate as offset, they all go red. So now if we play through, the roto also moves along with the tracker. If you look at that, dot's completely gone. Cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's the same process over and over again. The only thing that I have to say though is that while you could do a different roto inside of the same uh, same roto node, like we just go here, change this back to color, background, and say move it 20 units to the other side, to that way. Uh, that's fine, but we can't use the same tracker node. We would have to do a new tracker node, plug it in, and then uh, do the same thing with the track. You can only have one tracker per node. Uh, I know it's kind of uh, upsetting, but I had to do that for this. It's just kind of how it works. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully that helps. It's really not that difficult. It's a small little tutorial, but uh, yeah, that's about it. See you guys later.